You know, players have a lot of different idiosyncrasies that go along with playing professional baseball, and sometimes they have checkpoints too, and doing little bitty fundamental things that all of us kind of wonder about. One of them happens to be the way J.J. Hardy checks his release point when he lets go of the ball. Now he does throw the ball straight overhand, and you, as you have all noticed many times watching probably the best shortstop in the American League, throw the ball to first base, he is rarely, rarely off target. And how he practices really has a lot to do with one little personal thing that he does. He takes a baseball and he paints half of it black and arrays the rest of it white. And when he puts his two fingers on the four seams, which is the way he throws the ball every time he feels it, it tells him a little bit about something, how he practices. And if you practice perfect, you will play perfect. And what this really does is actually, while he plays catch, he'll release the ball as it goes straight overhand and right by his ear and gets to his release point. As he lets it off his fingertips, he can track the ball and notice whether or not this black side is wobbling. If it's wobbling, he doesn't have the perfect release point that he wants. If it stays straight where half of it is dark, half of it is white all the way to his target point, then he tells himself that's exactly what the feel that I want on the ball when I release it and let it go, which is probably one of the biggest reasons why you never ever see him make throwing errors.